from Ludomoth Creations, and I am back so excited, with my Sage Goddess Living Magic February 2023 tools. So, well first, hello and welcome. My name is Lisa. If you guys are new to my channel, on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things, including unboxings. And also take courses. I'm enrolled in like 10,000 courses that I'll probably... No, I'm gonna finish them. I'm gonna finish them. That's my that's my goal for 2023 is to finish all my courses. <laughs> but this course, if you guys are not familiar, I will link it below. It is through Sage Goddess. Um, Athena Paracas is the um, teacher. And it is called Living Magic. And we have, I think we meet like five times a month. There's like four curriculums and then there's like one special guest like every month. And I don't know who February's guest is. Um, but so the first uh, week we meet every Wednesday and the first one is living astrology. So it's astrology, um, not just like your birth chart, like your natal chart, but kind of what's going on in the skies like right now that's affecting us. Um, so that's super cool. And then the next week, I believe, is the practicing magic. And it's like getting down and dirty and actually doing exactly what it says, practicing magic. <laughs> and then the third week is Crystal, um, Crystalpedia, and she's gonna have a new book. I think that's what it's called, Crystalpedia. Um, I forget what she said the other night. I don't know if it just, like the final draft or something, I don't know. Anyways, I'm not sure when that's coming out, but I know it's coming out. So our third week of the month we do um, crystals. And then the last week of the month we do sound healing, which we just did yesterday. Yesterday. And, oh, I don't have it in here, but we talked about bells. Um, I do have a bell. Okay, but it's not the bell that was from the tools last month. If you guys are interested, sorry, I'm like knocking things over. I've got my, I've got my little broom I was cleaning my altar with. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see, uh, the tools from last month, I will link it uh, at the end of this video for you guys to take a look. Um, before we get started, so these are the tools for that. Oh, and we also meet one more time every month, and um, for January we met, and it was a interview with Deepak Chopra. It's so cool. And I know that if you sign up, even though we've already done January, you can get the replays for everything, and they give you like worksheets, and then there is a person who will type up the notes. Um, from each of those meetings so you don't even have to take notes you can just like be in the present moment with the you know what's going on and not have to worry about writing things down unless you really want to um but anyways so these are our tools for the month of February and she they do show us what they're gonna be I mean I kind of forget you know I'll look at it and be like yeah you know and then forget but I wanted to do a few housekeeping things before. Um, I wanted to show you guys something that one of my very best friends, shout out Aiden, thank you so much. I love this so much. She sent me a present for my birthday, which was um, like a few days ago. Um, I'm 21, I'm 21. Just kidding, that would make me like, I don't even know how old I would be, uh, how old I would have been to have children and be a grandma at this point um, if I'm 21 today. But anyways, all right. So you guys probably know if you follow me that I love the Egyptian Pantheon and look at this wooden carving of Isis that she got me. Oh, I love her so much. It's got a little thingy to hang back here. I haven't decided where I want to put her. I do have like Egyptian stuff over here, so it'll probably go over there. Um, but but they do carve like um, other goddesses and she had gotten some of her, um, she had showed me some goddesses that she had gotten, um, that she had purchased. And so I really wanted this, it was on my wish list and then it came to me in the mail. So thank you, Aiden. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> so anyways, put that over there. And then we had talked about books and stuff that I'm reading and so I wanted to show you guys what I'm reading. <laughs> okay, I'm reading like, at least three different books right now. So I have some of these here. So, um, Murder Mysteries. I'm reading A Flicker in the Dark. Um, it's by Stacy uh, Willingham. So I'm going to read the backs of these for you guys, so in case you're interested. And I'll link these below, too. It says, When Chloe Davis was 12, six teenage girls went missing in her small Louisiana town. 
By the end of summer, her own father had confessed to the crimes and was put away for life, leaving Chloe and the rest of the, her family... Oh, God, there goes my dog. To, sorry, guys. My son needed to tell me something, um, so he interrupted us. So, okay. Uh... To do, to do. Now, 20 years later, Chloe is a psychologist in Baton Rouge and getting re 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 Baton Rouge and getting ready for her wedding. While she finally has a fragile grasp on the happiness she's worked so hard to achieve, she sometimes feels as out of control of her own life as the troubled teens were. Troubled teens who are her patients. Okay, she's a psychologist. Okay. I can't read. So when a local teenage girl goes missing and then another, that terrifying summer comes crashing back. She is paranoid seeing parallels from her past that aren't actually there. Oh, question mark. Or the second time in her life is Chloe about to unmask a killer. Um, so anyways, yay. It's so far so good. I'm on page, um, well, I'm on chapter 10. Um, and so far it's good. So I'm reading that. And then I have a couple like witchy books that I'm reading or spiritual books that I'm reading. So these are not new. One of them may be new. So I've got Kyle Gray's Raise Your Vibration. Um, again, I'll link this below. It says, everything is comprised of energy, including you. You express energy in what you create, experience, and attract. Right now, the universe is calling you to align your life to a higher energetic frequency, and at any given moment, you have the opportunity to raise your vibration. Let best-selling author Kyle Gray be your guide. This new edition focuses Kyle's teachings into 77 essential practices, sharing inspir uh, la, 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 la. inspiring affirmations, channeled wisdom, and energetic messages to help you awaken your divine connection and activate your light. You'll discover how to trust in the love and support of the universe, clear your energy field and protect your vibes, activate the flow of spiritual energy through your chakras, cultivate a daily spiritual practice with simple tools, and attract positive experiences into your every day. I went to the store the other day, obviously. <laughs> And then the last book that I'm reading is Magic Days, Your Journey Through the Astrology, Numerology, and Tarot of Every Day of the Year. It's by Nadine Jane. Again, I will link these. So it says, fans of astrology flock to Nadine Jane for custom astrological readings that focus on self-understanding, self-empowerment, and self-care. Now for the first time, readers have access to her insights in this comprehensive guide to the inherent magic of every day of the year. In Magic Days, you'll discover guidance for each day's particular journey based on astrology, tarot, and numerology, along with a mantra, a ritual, and journaling prompt. You'll also find special information if it's your birthday, so you can take the day's spiritual wisdom to heart when it comes to your personal journey, relationships, goals, and dreams. Whether you're a novice looking for your first introduction to spiritual practices, a lost soul, who could use some direction in life, an expert looking for a fresh view of the topics you know far too well, or an empathic people reader who loves to understand others. You'll find something for every day of your luminous life in Magic Days. So this book, um, I need to get a, like a, um, a bookmark, which I usually use like cards from different things. What is today? Today is the 26th. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but there's there's each there's like a section in the front just kind of about the book and about um, tarot and astrology and um, all that stuff. But then for each day of the year, and they start the astrological year, so it starts at Aries, um, which would be March 21st. March 21st. Um, so they have a little welcome thing, today's mantra, today's journal prompt, today's ritual, people born on this day, and then it says if you were born on this day, and it gives you a little synopsis, and it says, um, you know, we're in the sign of Aquarius, the ruler is Uranus, um, it gives you a purpose, relationships, your guides, so it says, um, of course, I just said Aquarius and Uranus, the numerology, um, it says experience, the number nine, minor arcana, your lesson, and then it says anxiety, the nine of swords. Yes, I have anxiety um, <laughs> about certain things. Major arcana, and it says your highest calling. And then it says instinct, and it's the hermit card. So I'll give you the mantra, and then we will move on. It says, my intuition is the higher knowledge of which I seek. My intuition is the higher knowledge of which I seek. Very nice. All right, so super cool. And then the raise your vibration, it also gives you like a vibe of the day. I mean, it's not like based off what day today is, but um, it just, after it 
like the first several chapters, um, kind of an overview, there's like vibe 39 and then it gives you all that kind of stuff. So anyways, super cool books. I'm super excited to be reading those. Sorry, I'm like dropping shit on the floor. Um, so what are you guys here for? Sage Goddess Living Magic Tools. So let's get into that. Oh, and while we're doing this, um, if you guys like this kind of thing and you're not currently subscribed to me, go ahead and hit that bell. Or not the bell. I mean, yeah, you want to hit the bell too. Subscribe. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hit the bell. All right. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take all the little pieces out and then, oh good, they actually put a hole in this one. Super. You guys will understand when I show you that part of the thing. Okay, gosh, what is in that? I don't even remember all the stuff that we got. So again, this will all go towards what we're going to be learning for the month of February. You can just do the astrology or just do the crystals, um, but like you might as well do the whole thing, right? Okay, so the first thing is they have been giving us like a little card that goes along with astrology. So here is that information. And they gave us a little ring last time. I had to poke a hole through mine, but they poked a hole. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Because the hole punch that I had was too small, and I had to do a bunch of them, and it looked stupid. <laughs> uh, and I was like, man, I need to get a bigger punch. But if they're going to do it for me, I'm good. All right. So the first thing is living incense. And it says, I'm gonna throw that on the floor, thresholding. So we got this little jar, and I'm assuming it's like powder incense. Last time I couldn't figure that out at first. Ooh. So yeah, it's like powder incense, if you guys can see that. And it says February 2023, living incense. Thresholding, very nice, very nice. I might have to, oh, I just went right up my nose. I still need to finish burning my stuff from last month excuse me and there's our candle right up there from last month I don't think we get a candle this month she was talking about how that's our winter candle so we're gonna be maybe just burning that for a while all right and then we have some living essence also thresholding uh, like aura spray oh that's nice let me put the cap back on so we got this guy and she like, I just, I think I spit across the room. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but she is like a master blender. I believe that last year, um, her like year long course was called soul shift. And I guess it had been called that for a while and she just changed it to living magic this year. But, um, I think that they, they had done one year, they had done like perfumes around the world. Girlfriend can blend some shiz, I'm just saying. All right, so next. Oh, maybe we do have a candle. All right, so it says, um, of course, so I guess this month is thresholding. <laughs> so there is the top, February 2023, thresholding, and this is the Living Magic um, little sim uh, uh, logo. It's a hummingbird inside some sacred geometry. There we go. Ooh. Oh, girl. So it's pink and sparkly. And there is a little uh, quartz crystal in there. Mmm. I don't know what that scent is, but yum. Get the lid back on. I'm gonna put everything together so I can use. And we have our next class. I'm so excited. She's at the Tucson Gym Show. I really wanted to go this year to get things for my shop, but I am trying to pay off some bills before I add new things to my shop. Now, my herbs, you guys, I will always replenish those. Like, those are my top sellers, so I'm always going to be, if they're out of stock, just keep an eye out because I will restock them, you know, as long as I can get a hold of them. Okay, so now we have a uh, glass little potion bottle. And there is something inside it. Should I know what that is? What is that? 
I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's like a dead worm. It's... I, re I really think it's like some dried, like, pepper or something? I don't even know. I... I think it's got to be a pepper because I feel like my nose is now on fire a little. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm excited to figure out what we're going to do with this. So I'm assuming this is part of our magic. All right. And last but not least, we have this box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember now what it is. Look at that. Okay. Hold on. Let me get it all out for you guys. I wonder what you do with that. Okay. Um, all right, so it is a singing bowl. Let me undo this, but it's a special singing bowl. She had this specially made for us. So it is, um, I guess that's brass. And then it's got a little thing in the middle there. So you're supposed to put your, like, hold it, like, with your thumb. She had showed us this. Okay, so you do the thingy, and then it's like a massage thing. So you're supposed to get the vibration going, and then you can massage it. So it's like the sound is reverberating, isn't that a word? Reverberating into your body. Yes. Very nice. And then it's got a cute little pillow. Um, I don't know which way it goes. It's got like a, so it's got a little pillow, but then it's got this thing like tied on it. I don't know if you do something special with that. Anyways, I don't know if it sits that way or that way. Maybe that way. And then your thing. So neat. I'm so excited. Man, I want to like really try to work on that and see if I can um, make it do that, right? How cool is that, guys? So this is our Living Magic. Um, tools for February 2023. I almost said 2021. That ain't right. 20. I don't know how to put this back in here. Um, for 2023. Super excited. You guys will be seeing these tools from me every single month because I am subscribed and I need it. There was also this little sticker. I don't know where I want to put that or if I want to put that somewhere. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And again, I will link last month's tools right here for you guys to take a look in case you're interested. I think some of these tools, you could still buy them like separately. Um, so I will link um, Sage Goddess down below in case you're interested in joining her Living Magic course for the year or um, buying any of the tools. Um, I don't know unless, like if they're sold out, you won't be able to buy them all as a, a group but there may be still in a group that you can get or separately. So anyways, thank you guys again. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And again, if you guys are already a subscriber, thank you so much. And also shout out Heather Smith. Heather Smith, I should have said this at the beginning of the thing. You are my winner. Oh, this is another thing I needed to say. There's a scammer that has made a channel with my name it's just a little different like Luna Moth Creations they've done like underscores and stuff so it's my name but it's a different than what you know mine is and they're telling every single person that they've won my giveaways that don't don't message anybody they're telling you to do some kind of app like on telegram or something anyways I will reach out to you. I will also, after I announce the winner, I will put it in the description box of that giveaway video. And I will also announce it in the community link. So you'll see like my logo with the winner is right. Um, I'm never going to ask you to message me on some weird app. It is always going to be emailing me at my business email. Okay. And it's linked in my um, description box, it says for business inquiries, and then it has my email. So that's the email that I'm going to have you guys uh, message me if you've won my um, thing. And also, I don't talk weird. Like, this guy, you can tell he's not, like, American, and his English is not uh, quite, you know, right? It's a little bit broken. So, guys, 
please do not fall for any scammers. I don't want anybody to lose money or whatever it is. I think I heard that he's asking for shipping. That's another thing that I will never do. I'm not gonna have you pay shipping for a giveaway. Like, no, I'm not doing that. So anyways, guys, I will have another um, giveaway uh, probably in February, we'll, we'll do our, my next giveaway, but the, um, this box right here, the full box of the Witch's Moon for January, Heather Smith, you've won this. Please email me, Luna Moth Creations and, the whole word, A-N-D, tarot, at gmail.com. I recognize that's a really long email, and I don't know why I did that, but at this point, it's there. So, <laughs> until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.